everyone, my name is Jeff Fields McCormick and welcome back to Mad Mobile. Now as you can see on your screen, the two new Legends players for this week are Walter Jones and Gilbert Brown. And as I said in a video earlier today, we are adding Gilbert Brown to our defense. So, let's jump over to him. We are going to add in the 12 badges required and then go get the eight others. All right, now we're gonna go down and auto add. There we go, we have the 12 of any player's badge required as well as the eight Gilbert Brown badges. Redeem and continue. All right, here we go. I'm looking forward to this one. Gilbert Brown will replace Fletcher Cox on our defensive line. So let's go ahead and hit claim and continue. Open pack. Boom, let's go, let's go. The 91 overall defensive tackle Gilbert Brown is now on our team. Continue. We're actually going to put him over Quinnen Williams. And then we're going to drag Quinnen Williams over to this position right here. All right, that is our new team. And that gives us an all diamond defense. Yes, let's go. Every single player on our Madden Mobile defense is now a 90 or higher diamond card. That is a beautiful sight to behold indeed. All right, so now that we've added Gilbert Brown to our all-diamond defense, let's go ahead and jump into his stats before we get into the gameplay. Gilbert Brown is a 91 overall defensive tackle with guaranteed 40 power when you add him to your team. He's the legendary number 93 for the Green Bay Packers. Gilbert Brown has 70 speed, which is a little low, but you have to keep in mind defensive tackles usually don't have very high speed because defensive linemen are powerhouses not necessarily the fastest of players. He also has 87 strength, which is really good. That means he's gonna be able to power through offensive linemen. 78 acceleration's a little low, kind of goes in with speed, but speed, once again, not a big deal, really, when it comes to defensive linemen, because their goal is just to power through offensive linemen and tight ends and get to the quarterback, get to the running back. 91 awareness is really good. That means he can easily read what the quarterback's doing, what the running back's doing, what the tight end and what the other blockers are trying to do and he can make the appropriate cuts and reads and blocks and tackles to make huge plays on defense and i'm hoping to see some of that in the gameplay coming later in the video he also has 90 tackle which is really good that means if he goes in for the tackle he goes in for the wrap up for the sack that's it you're getting tackled hopefully even in the backfield in a lot of cases he's at 92 block shedding and that means that he's going to be able to easily shed off offensive linemen and tight ends that are trying to block him and he'll get right to the quarterback right to the running back for huge plays on defense he also has 89 power moves and 85 finesse moves which is pretty good this means that he is a very power oriented player with that 89 power moves finesse moves he's still kind of quick for linemen which is good to see 84 pursuit that's important. That means that he's able to give chase. He'll be able to chase down quarterbacks and running backs. 90 play recognition is very important for a defensive tackle. That means he's going to be able to recognize what plays are being called and make the appropriate reads and cuts and movements to get sacks, to get tackles for losses, and all kinds of other huge defensive plays to win you a game in Madden Mobile. He's also a very hard hitter with 87 hit power, which means that he has a very good chance of either laying somebody out or causing fumbles when he hits a running back or a quarterback. 71 agility is a little low, but once again, that kind of goes in with his speed. If speed's not that high, usually agility's kind of low as well. They tend to go hand in hand most of the time. 80 jump, which is really high for an offensive lineman. So he's gonna be able to swat the passes that come over his head. And then 56 catch is pretty low, but very, very rarely do you see a defensive tackle catching anything. All right, let's go ahead and jump into his bio. Brown achieved 292 tackles over 125 games for the Green Bay Packers and was a Super Bowl 31 champion. This guy on top of everything else has a ring to boot, so congrats to him. This guy was a monster for the Packers and is definitely deserving of a Legends card. He was 6'2", 340, so he was a very big man, very strong man, and that definitely shows with his 292 tackles in his career. All right, now we are starting a new season mode because in the Eric Dickerson gameplay, we won the Super Bowl by a blowout when he racked up 500 yards and nine touchdowns. Let's go ahead and jump into the game. So we are starting our season opener against the Washington Redskins in Washington. Okay, now I'm expecting to get at least two or three sacks with Gilbert Brown. I'm gonna be using him on defense the entire game. So between him, Khalil Mack, Ray Lewis, Reggie White, those kind of players on the team right now, I have no doubt we're gonna get a couple of sacks. All right, we're kicking off. So we will be starting the game on defense, which means that our very first play 
other than the kickoff, we'll get to show off Gilbert Brown in that moment. All right, there's Gilbert Brown right there. Let's take him up. Oh, and he broke through the... Uh-oh, that doesn't look good. Okay, so Calvin Johnson is able to stop them right there. You can see Gilbert Brown breaking through that offensive line, but they did not run in his direction. And honestly, I wouldn't either. All right, let's go with the pinch butt. Gilbert Brown right down. We're going to take him down to this side and see what happens. And not a whole lot happened there. It's going to bring up a third and four. Gilbert Brown kind of fell on him after the play, actually, which is a bit odd. Let's bring him right down the center right here, see if we can get him to break through the offensive line. And, okay, he broke through but wasn't able to do it. And, all right, that's going to bring up a fourth down. Following that Tyreek Cohen punt return touchdown, we will be back on defense. Let's see if we can get some hard hits with Gilbert Brown. This is definitely a mistake. This is a passing situation. Let's bring Gilbert Brown down, see if we can force a sack. We cannot, and he catches it. This is going to be a problem, and Peters is going to knock him down second and two. All right, we're going to go with a two-man press. We're going to find Gilbert Brown right there, drag him over, and see if he can break through the line. And he does, and he gets a tackle for loss. One-yard loss is going to be a third and three. We're going to bring Gilbert Brown to the outside of this O tackle right here, see if we can get him around. And I honestly thought we got the sack there. But he got a lot of pressure on that quarterback and forced a bad pass. Fourth and five. Tyreek Cohen's going to go all the way again. Two punt return touchdowns in a row. And after this kickoff, we will be back on defense with Gilbert Brown. I was only going to put Gilbert Brown gameplay, but after those two punt return touchdowns, I might have to put those in the video. Because that's amazing. Gilbert Brown right up the center. I like this. All right, and there's a ton of... Oh, Ray Lewis with an interception. All right, and we're going to be back on defense with Gilbert Brown once again. We're going to come over here with a two-man press. We're on Gilbert Brown. We're going to bring him down outside of 72 right here. Try and pull him down, force a sack. He does shove off, and... Nothing there. That's going to bring up second and seven. And let's go with QB contain. Once again, we're on Gilbert Brown. I really want to see him break through and get a sack in this game. And, oh, I thought we had, uh-oh. 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 And, ah, uh, they're down inside the five-yard line. I'm going to go cover two man. We're on Gilbert Brown once again. We're going to bring him right down the inside. And... He broke through the line but was not able to get the sack. They ran in the opposite direction and outran Gilbert Brown. All right, we have a QB contain we're going to go with right here. We're going to take Gilbert Brown right up the center once again, get that really good center pressure, and wow, he did not get the sack, but he absolutely annihilated that quarterback. Let's see a replay on that. All right, we're going to go right here. Case Keenum, this poor guy just got smacked. Boom. That right there is the power of Gilbert Brown. And even though he technically did not get the sack because the pitch was off before then, that is a hit that Case Keenum will remember. That is a powerful defensive tackle. And we're going to bring Gilbert Brown down again right after that impressive hit. See if we can get Keenum on the ground again. And he just kind of falls over there. Well, it's just a day for kick return and punt return. That's a touchdown. That's a touchdown. Let's go. They're probably going to take a knee here. And, oh, he's running it out. Okay. And Reddick is going to cause the fumble. And Shazier is going to take this one to the house. Maybe. Yes, he falls into the end zone for the touchdown. This is an absolute blowout right now. Let's see if we can make it 38. And we do. 38-3. to three, And it's not even halftime yet. Now, unless there's something crazy that happens on this kickoff, we will be back on defense with Gilbert Brown. He's probably going to kneel it. There you go. He kneeled it that time. All right, we're going to come down to the cover one linebacker blitz. We're on Gilbert Brown right here. We're going to take him to the outside. We're going to have to worry about getting blocked up by offensive linemen. And we're going to run around with him. I believe that was... The defensive end right there that was able to take him down, Reggie White, and that's going to bring up second and two. We're going to get cover two here. We have Gilbert Brown right there. He's going to come down right in Keenum's face, see if we can get him down for the sack. 75 blocks us up, so nothing too exciting happening there. That's going to bring up a first down for the Redskins with 13 seconds left on the clock. We're going to go cover six here. This is going to be a crucial sack if we can get it. 
to Gilbert Brown right here and doesn't look like a sack there. Lots of pressure and we do get a sack by Reggie White. All right, three seconds left. Let's call a timeout to give them one last shot, see if we can get another sack. Hopefully this time with Gilbert Brown. We're going to bring Brown down right here, right on the inside of the center and the 77 right there. See what happens. No luck on the sack and a completed pass, but it is 38 to 3 at halftime. Come down in a cover six because they have to make up yardage. They have to score. Gilbert Brown's going to rush down. No luck there for a sack. And Lattimore's going to light him up. It's going to bring up second and ten. Nothing gained on that pass. All right, cover three, buzz press. Once again, we're going to bring Gilbert Brown down, try to get him to the outside to avoid all of that pressure. And he's getting stopped by the Redskins offense very well, which is a bit frustrating. It's hoping to see more sacks and plays by Gilbert Brown, but you can still see the raw talent in this card. Boom! Gilbert Brown with a sack, just as I say that the Redskins are stopping him up. That is amazing. Perfect timing on that. It's going to bring up fourth and 11. Let's see the replay, though. All right, we're going to zoom in, and he fakes the handoff. Gilbert Brown is not at all convinced, and he just goes right in for the sack, bringing up 4th and 11. Following this kickoff, we will be back on defense with Gilbert Brown. Let's see if we can rack up another sack, because that one caused the 4th down was amazing. It was the perfect timing. I was just talking about how well they were able to stop him, and then boom, Edelman is going to lay this guy out and bring him out to about the 18-yard line. All right, we're going to bring up a cover four with Gilbert Brown right here, see if we can get another sack off of this outside rush. And no luck there. They were able to stop him, but Reggie White drags him down second and 11. This is obviously a pass. They're not even trying to disguise this one. And Brown is going to cause a lot of pressure, and he's going to go down. I don't know exactly who got that sack, but it was not Gilbert Brown. I think that might have been Reggie White two plays in a row. This is going to bring up third and 19. And they're going to complete it, fourth and five. They're probably going to go for it right here. They don't really have anything to lose. Yep, they're going to go for it. Let's see if we can get another sack with Gilbert Brown in Madden Mobile. And he's going to push through. Oh, that's a fumble. Ray Lewis, pick it up. Stay in bounce, stay in bounce, stay in bounce. All right, there we go. Ray Lewis picks up the fumble, giving the Denver Broncos the ball yet again. Yeah, he's going to kneel it right there. 45 seconds left on the clock. Just enough time for us to get another Gilbert Brown sack to finish off the game. We're going to bring him down on the outside of 72 here. He's probably going to get blocked by 29 right there, but... All right, let's run him down on this side, and one of our linemen fell over. That's a bit frustrating. All right, Brown's going to get stopped up by the line once again. And Cook nearly got the interception. He did drop an open interception right there. Not what you want to see on defense. Let's go back to Gilbert Brown. Bring him right down here. Lots of pressure on the line. And Khalil Mack will drag him down for the sack. Third and 16, silver shoot two. We're going to bring Gilbert Brown down to this side this time. See if we can get him with another sack. No luck on the sack there. Lattimore's going to bring a fourth and five. All right, we're going to bring him down one last time. This may be the last time we see Gilbert Brown play in this game. So I'm hoping to end on a sack, and he's free, and uh, that's going to be a turnover with 16 seconds left in the game. We're going to get Gilbert Brown. There he is. And lots of, he's shoving back. He's a very powerful player, incomplete pass. You can see him shoving hard against that offensive lineman. Couldn't quite break him, though, unfortunately. Seven seconds left, cover through, to bring him to the outside right here. Well outside of the range of that offensive tackle. And Gilbert Brown with a sack. Let's go. All right, let's see the instant replay right there. All right, and Gilbert Brown, the legendary Packers defensive player with his second sack against the Redskins. He's going to come down right there, and boom. He's going to drag Case Keenum to the ground, bringing up third and 18. They have absolutely no way of winning, but they can still save face, get double digits, maybe. Gilbert Brown, and nothing there. That will end the game, 68-3. to Now, in that final play, you did see Gilbert Brown pushing really hard on that player. He pushed very hard on offensive linemen through the entire game. Managed to rack up two sacks, which was really cool to see. The Redskins had a really powerful offensive line, which prevented him from breaking through and getting more. 
but from the power we saw and the way he was pushing against those offensive linemen, we could have easily seen a four or five sack game without any problems at all. We got six sacks in that game alone, two of which came from the legendary player himself, 91 overall defensive tackle Gilbert Brown. And then in this game, let's go back over to Gilbert Brown, take a look at those stats one last time. This man right here is one of the superstars on our team. 92 block shedding, we didn't really get to see a whole lot of that because he was blocked up pretty hard against those Redskins offensive linemen. But we did see his 90 tackle and 87 strength on display. He slung Case Keenum to the ground twice. Gilbert Brown is an amazing player in Mad Mobile who's an amazing player in real life. So if you need a better defensive tackle on your team, I highly recommend Gilbert Brown. I'll be having him on my team for quite a while, and I'm very excited to see him rack up even more sacks in future games. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up here. If you enjoyed what you saw today and you enjoyed the Legends gameplay, then go ahead and give it a thumbs up down below to let me know. Also, if you're new to the channel and you enjoy the content that you're seeing, please make sure to subscribe down below. There's a metric on YouTube that lets me know that 89% of my viewers are not subscribed, and if that's one of you guys, please subscribe down below. We're at 1,052 subscribers and growing every every single day. Also, if you hit the bell icon down below next to the subscription button, you'll get a notification every time a new video is posted on this channel. I post new videos every single weekday and occasionally on the weekends, so make sure you have your notifications turned on so that you never miss an upload. Also, if you want to join the Locker Room, which is the Discord associated with this channel, I'll leave a link down in the comments for you to do so. In the Locker Room, we have tons of amazing conversations. You can do anything in the Locker Room from asking fellow players for advice on your team, to showing off some amazing pulls, to talking about future events coming out. I'll occasionally even drop hints at some future videos that are coming so if you're in the locker room you'll get to see hints and sneak peeks of videos coming to the channel a few days before they're uploaded in some cases i think i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up and call it a day thank you all so much for watching and as always i will see you in the next madden mobile video